tutorial I'll show you how we can make this stat card on your Elementor website. So when you scroll down, you can see this card start to go away and the next card will show up at the very top. And also when you scroll up, they again start to come back to the right place. So without any further ado, let's see how we can make this cool effect. Okay, so here we have created these two sections and in between them here I want to create our that card section. So we can understand the scrolling functionality properly. Here click on this plus icon and create a new section. To create our scrolling function properly, inside this container we also need to take another nested container. So from here let's just insert this and here we can put our all the content. So if we just open our navigator, here we can see these two nested container. Now I want to put all the content in a two column structure. So for creating our left container, we need to take another inner container inside that and make it to one half of the width. So first make its width to full width and make the width to 50%. And we can just duplicate this. To place them horizontally, we can go to this band container and make its direction to the row. Okay, perfect. Okay, now before putting any content, first of all, I want to make some adjustment of this structure. So go to our this topmost container. And for this one, first of all, I want to make it to full width. And here we can see some little default padding. So we can also remove that and then go to our this inner container. And for this one, I want to set here a height 100 VH. So now inside our left container, I want to put some content like an heading widget, paragraph, and also an button widget. And I want to place all of them to the middle here. So from the parent container, I want to set the justify content to the center. Okay, now I want to quickly design this because I want to focus on our main card section. So after designing all of them, let's go to the right column and here I want to create our first card. So for this, let's take a new container. And first of all, I want to set its a height and width. So make it to full width and make its dimension to 350 by 350 pixel. Also from here, let's give it a background color and also set some border radius. But I want to place it to the middle here. So go to this parent container and from here I want to make both of them to the center. Now inside this you can put any content you want. So I want to put an heading widget. So drag it to here and change this text. Make its color to fully black and also make some changes on the typography. Then let's also create an another heading. So let's duplicate this. And for this one, I want to change this text and make it a little bigger. Also adjust the line height. But I want to place it at the bottom here. So go to this container settings and from this layout option, I want to make this justify content to the space between. Okay. Now lastly, add some padding around that. So make it to 35. So our first card is done. Now we can create some other cards by easily duplicating that. But before duplicating, first I want to check its responsiveness for the tablet and the mobile devices. Because if I first duplicate, then we have to do the responsive work for our duplicated content again. Okay, so for the tablet, here we need to reduce the box size. So instead of 50 by 350, I want to make it to 250 by 250 pixel also reduce this huge font size and adjust the padding for this container and lastly for the mobile device here we need to fix the width so you can see it's 100 pixel so i want to set it again to 250 perfect now let's go back to the desktop and we can now duplicate this container but i want to place all of them middle to here so basically we need to make their position to the absolute. So let's just undo this. And first I want to make its position to the absolute. From here make it to absolute. 
and let's remove these offset values okay now if we just duplicate this we can see both of them to the same place one above another so if we hide our first container now we can see the second card and from here we can easily change this content and if you also want to set a different background color for this one you can also do that and by following the same process you can create all the other cards so we have created all of them and finally to make it work we need to do a couple of things so first go to the parent container of all of our these cards which is this column and here we need to add a class mdw stacked cards and we need to go to the topmost container here and also need to add a class with that mdw stacked card area and bottom here we also need to add some custom css with that and if you don't know this custom css option is only available in elementor pro so if you don't have elementor pro you can also quickly get this from my link on the description let's paste this code and you also don't need to worry about any of this code snippet i will give all the code snippet to my website and also give the website link to my description so from here you just need to copy and paste that code okay and finally we also need to add some javascript code so for that here search for the html widget and drag it to right here okay let's drag it right before all of this container here and paste this code and now if we save this and from our preview we can see all of all these stack cards and when we scroll down we can see this card effect that really works perfectly okay and if we also look at the custom css code here we can also see some options from this card rotate option you can control how much this behind card will rotate and here you can see this card scroll height to 400 that means you have to scroll 400 pixel for each card to move up so if you think it's too fast or too slow you can also control the value from here so everything is good now finally i want to check the responsiveness for our this whole section so for the tablet again it looks good and on the mobile here you can see a huge space and also very small space at the bottom so to fix this let's go to our this container and first of all i want to change its direction to the column but you can see this moves to the top of this section so to bring it middle again set it to center and here you can also notice these cards are overflowing with our other content like this button because we have set no height for our this parent container so for our this container from here we need to set a height and here i also want to add some more space so again go to our this container and make the space to 40 pixel okay and here you can also see we have set the height of this section to 100 vh so it's also changing with our device height but you can see with this small height the top spacing looks too small and also we need some spacing at the bottom so from here we can set some padding okay now that looks good for all of our devices so that's how we can create this beautiful stacked card on your Elementor website. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.